Why try to arm wrestle every potential customer into a sale? There's a better way. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to grow past the 10K a month barrier in your coaching business. So you can hit 50 to 100K every single month and still actually help people. My name is Peter Fermenti and I'm a reformed sales call people pleaser. I was terrible on my sales calls. I would try and solve all the leads problems as if it could be done in just one call. I would give advice and work to demonstrate my value, my intelligence, or my deep expertise. I thought if I was just nice enough and just followed up enough, they would eventually buy. During those dark sales call days, I struggled to make enough money to live the life I wanted. And I had zero consistency in my income. It was always a yo-yo of stress and sleepless nights filled with anxiety. There are a ton of amazing coaches and consultants out there, but so very few of them have mastered the art of sales calls. In fact, most coaches absolutely hate their calls, and I sure don't blame them. Now, why am I telling you this? You know this already, but what if you could get people to close in one call and actually enjoy it? Seem impossible? Well, it's not. So the simple process I'm about to share with you has helped coaches in 37 coaching verticals and counting turn their sales calls and sales call process around so that they can stop fixing their marketing and break through the 10K a month barrier and live the life they deserve. But before I explain the process, I just want to take one minute and tell you about the $100 million sales call mistake. $100 million, that's a number, right? That is a number and it might even be a little bit low. It's the number that coaches and consultants are leaving on the table every single year by making this one big mistake on their calls. And if you're a coach that's been hovering right around the 10K a month mark, I'd be willing to bet this mistake has cost you at least $75,000 in the past 12 months. And if you don't fix it, it will likely be even worse in the next 12 months. And 99% of coaches are doing this, so listen up. You get on a call, you panic. You know you can help the person, so you try and dazzle them with the depth of your program. You let them know all the endless support that they'll get to achieve their goal. Then you wanna prove your expertise, so you hit them with all the science and the data that backs up what you're saying. Then you want them to see your value, so you start coaching them right there on the call through their problem. And poof, they're gone. They'll tell you they're broke, they say they have to talk to their wife or their husband, or they just don't make decisions on the call. You'll set up a follow-up call, and of course, they'll ghost you. The $100 million mistake, and it's this right here. Coaching on your sales calls. So now you, you're stuck on call after call, exhausting yourself, pulling out every single trick in the book, watching your hard-earned and easily spent marketing money go right down the drain. This is exactly why almost all the coaches and consultants that I talk to just absolutely dread their sales calls and feel like all the people that they talk to are broke or just liars. Now, I know you're like, great, Peter, that's the problem. So what the heck do I do on the phone instead? And that's a great question. And there's an easy answer. You lead. You grab people's attention in a very specific way, in a proven process, and you lead them right to your solution. In fact, you lead them to the solution in a way that makes it seem like you invented your entire service just for them. And what's more, you must stop putting band-aids on a bleeding artery. Number one, no matter how much you coach people on a call, it's not enough to get them the transformation they need. It's an hour. If you could fix their lives in an hour, you wouldn't be watching this video. You'd have won the Nobel Peace Prize. Nobody can do that. Not me, not anybody. Let me explain. Imagine you, someone that you care about has been in a car accident and they're, they're there, they're lying on the ground bleeding and you realize they've cut an artery. You know you've got to help them and help them fast or they're a goner. Do you let them tell you that they need to think about it or talk it over with their spouse? So when a client desperately needs your help, you have to have a process that helps them realize they have to take action now or it's game over. Click the link below and I'll see you there.